Lies. We also get those here in Asturias, Spain. It happens sometimes to our plants, but we have a solution for that. You've seen the damage the plant lies are causing in our, in our beans. You don't have to worry too much about it because it's something that happens frequently. Uh, beans and plant lies are always together, but the important thing is to go after it. We're going to make an infusion with garlic that repels strongly this kind of box, also for mite and fungus and some other kind of bug. So let's make it. I'm going to show you the ingredients. We are going to use five garlic cloves, it doesn't matter if they are a bit damaged, like this ones. One liter of water and a pot. Okay, let's cut the garlic in small pieces and put them in a mortar. If you didn't have a mortar, we would just cut it in smaller pieces with a knife, very small pieces. But let's use the mortar. Let's squash them really well so the juice comes out. Once we've done that, let's throw them in the pot and we add water, about one liter, so they are well covered. Let's put a cloth on top now and just let it be for 24 hours. Okay, 24 hours have passed the garlic let all its juice out we'll put it we'll cook it for 24 minutes very low fire very low heat the water has been absorbing all the properties from the garlic let's shut it off and wait for the water to cool down let's strain it now and put it in the sprayer And let's fumigate the beans with it. We'll be fumigating all the plants. Because it's good to repel all those mites and lice, mostly lice, but also for mite. It works and etc. Remember that this is if the plague of lice is not very, very strong because it will repel them, not kill them. We'll do it for three days in a row, always early in the morning or late in the afternoon. Mostly we're going to fumigate the new, the new, the new leaves and the top because that's where the lice mostly appears. I'll continue fumigating here if you've liked the video. So go ahead, like it and make any comments you want. I'll see you in another video.